All right, this is Tony Morgan. Today we're going to do a 3D voiceover analysis using the new Unleash software. Thank all of you for sending in your swings. Uh, I will be getting to those uh, tomorrow and posting some back on this page. Today I wanted to actually look at a local client that I've been working with with another certified professional to show you some really good before and after um, progress with a pelvic bend graph, uh, how it affects efficiency in the kinematic sequence graph and also what it looks like on 2D video using the K-Video software. So in the new interface, we're going to just go back to the client manager. I'm already on my client. You'll see all the new swings here loaded on the right. And in the new software, there's actually a little preview window over on the right, which makes it really easy to see your swings. I'm going to load the first swing of the morning. I'm going to click Analyze, and I'm going to go to Performance Graphs. Now this went right to my pelvic bend graph, and this is really where I focused with this client this morning. We can see the pelvic bend started at 14.4 degrees. We know with an efficient golf swing, that pelvis bend is going to start around 20 degrees, okay? So the players started with the pelvis underneath them or in a posterior tilt, and then as they start to swing back, this number increases. Remember, the front part of this graph should always be the highest, and it actually should be going downhill as they go into their backswing. So this player is actually going into what we would say is a dynamic S posture and really starting into that dynamic S or too much anterior tilt before they change directions with the golf club. Now, to work on this, what we did, with the new software, all you've got to do is go home, you go to your biofeedback manager, and we click on create new program. Now, I create a program name called Pelvic Right, and now the great thing is I can come over to my left, just like the K-Trainer software, I can click on full swing drills, and I can load in pelvic posture to dress. I just drag and drop. Now I'm going to scroll down, and I'm actually going to go to full swing drills. I'm going to go to kinematic sequence drills, and I'm going to load back swing core engagers. And what this does, it actually makes them start at 20, but now decrease that pelvic bend as they go into their backswing, making sure they're really staying stable as they rotate and create side bend. All right, so I'm going to save this. I can either save it as a global program for all my clients, or I can save it as a client program. I'm going to save it as a client. Now, once I've got that saved, I just overwrote the program that I had. All right, now I can close this, and I can actually load this program for my client. Now you'll see these two drills over here on the left posture, working on pelvis around 20 degrees. If I want to tighten up those ranges, the nice thing is I can actually come in here and very easily now I can tighten up those ranges and you'll notice when I, when I change that on this guides menu, it automatically changes the range so I can really tighten that up to make sure they're really working close to 20 degrees of pelvic bend. So that's how we did that. All right, let me show you the after of what happened. I'm going to go back to client manager. All right, I'm going to load that first swing again and I'll actually show you how to compare a graph in the new software. So now all I do is I go Menu, Compare, and I'm going to go to the last swing that we did, and I'm going to click Load Comparison. And what you'll see now on the graph on the right, we're starting much closer to 20. We're starting at 23. Now the graph definitely drops down too much in the backswing, but at least we've got it going the other direction. And these are things we'll start cleaning up. So yes, that's too much drop, but the bottom line is the player's starting closer to 20 now, and we're starting to get the feel of how to change direction and keep that pelvis more stable as they swing back. All right? Now, if we look at this player's kinematic sequence and you look at the before and afters, here's the cool thing, right? Over on the left, if we look at pelvis velocity, 323. Pelvis velocity on the right, 396. Upper body on the left, 515. Upper body on the right, 615. Now, if we get in the club, you can see we're 1500 on the left and now we're close to 1800 on the right. This is all we focused on today. Now, the transition sequence and things like that, you'll see we, we actually weren't trying to change direction quickly. It was more of a delay at the top, so that's why you're seeing these transition or acceleration rates happen late. But just want to focus on what changes happen in real world when you do a pelvic bend graph. Now, as we go back to video real quick, I want to show you what does that look like on 2D video. Posture on the left before with 14 degrees, posture on the right with 20, at the top before, dynamic S posture, and now just working on core engagement, here's the change that was made. So hopefully this helps you really see the 3D and the 2D aspect of pelvic bend.